You're with Julian on the Brown Note, and a couple of weeks ago I did a piece on Four Corners exposing Alan Tudge and Christian Porter for basically dilly-dallying around with female staff members, and it blew up all over Australia when Four Corners made that incredible expose on the systemic sexism and misbehaviour of Liberal Party politicians, some very high up ones, uh, particularly laying aim at Attorney General Christian Porter and um, his lifelong misogyny, allegedly. Now, the right I, I said at the time there's no way that they could possibly remain in their positions, and I still think there'll be a sting in the tail uh, for this. Um, but yet again, the Liberal Party don't seem to have a problem with it. And the right-wing media, a bastion of feminism, has come out in support of them, saying that this isn't in the public interest. People like Joe Hildebrand, the usual suspects, saying that this has got nothing to do with the public, it's a personal matter. And I went through why I said that wasn't true, um, due to the toxic nature of the uh, potential power imbalances of their relationships, the hypocrisy of them saying that they're for family values and um, for the traditional version of marriage and so on and all of that but i wanted to give a clearer example of why that show was in the public interest now scott morrison uh, green let yet another inquiry into the family court system a few months back now the family court system is the number one target of men's rights activist groups in australia they claim that women are getting free ride and they're the ones that are hard done by in the face of our overwhelming epidemic of domestic violence it's their number one target, and he gave it to Pauline Hanson. Uh, in the process, handed a significant public platform to Pauline Hanson, who's been stoking this red-hot issue as a means of rallying her core supporters for years. Morrison insists the Lumen Inquiry won't take sides. Uh, it's not about courting Pauline. While it's obviously fine in principle for parliamentarians to set up inquiries, it's hard to fathom... What of substance might emerge from this latest of many looks into the family court? The Liberal Party hate the family court. Men's rights groups hate the family court and they want it cancelled. Um, given the Australian law reform presented a bunch of detailed recommendations to overhaul the court system, uh, those insights from a body well credentialed to consider all the complexities are sitting politely on a shelf, ignored. Um... So this is something that is designed to gift right-wing anti-feminists a platform to attack the family court. Now, just today, uh, Christian Porter said the need for reform of the courts that deal with family matters has been well known for more than a decade. This is an area in need of urgent reform to improve the system for all those involved. Now that is, uh, and Labour said the changes are part of an ideological war by the government to dismantle the court system. That's Christian Porter, the Attorney General, who's basically in charge of everything to do with this. Now I ask you, is it important that a man who was just accused by people that knew him of being a rampant misogynist from the age of 16 to the present day and throughout his whole life who holds or is alleged to have hold, held very, very dismissive, uh, belittling views of women, and who was also accused of dilly-dallying with female staff, uh, younger female staff, out boozing on the town continually, and who as recently as January this year split from his second or third wife. Now, is that a problem that someone accused of lifelong misogyny and who's had breakups with two wives and has accusations of very bad views on women is the ultimate overseer of a review into the family courts, which is the number one men's rights anti-feminist issue in Australia. I would suggest that it is. And when people like Joe Hildebrand say that it's a personal matter for what they do in the bedroom, it isn't when it's the Attorney General overseeing the courts that are there to protect women who might be subject to domestic violence. Uh, particularly when you've got people like Pauline Hanson actually coming out and saying women make up a lot of the allegations about domestic violence. He's sitting at the top of the tree here and he has colleagues who have worked with him ac accusing him of being a lifelong misogynist. I would say that's in the public interest. 
And it wasn't supposed to be a long piece, but I was just just an example of how their behaviour isn't just solely in the bedroom. This is their public policy, their personas, and it could have a dramatic impact on thousands of families in against women because it's never going to be reformed to be more pro-women. It's designed to take the air out of the family courts and if they can do it, to get rid of the family courts because men's rights groups say that it's too pro-women and they're very anti-feminist and they want to see it gone. And then you've got a guy accused of misogyny who is overseeing the whole process as the head of Australia's legal institutions.